Art class and robots aren't two things that one usually puts in the same sentence. But sixth graders in Jeff Lynette's class have come to expect the unexpected this year. That's because, instead of a typical art class, Mr. Lynette has transformed their classroom into a design school. Well, the project we're working on is we're making cardboard robots and we're uh, learning how to use form and function to make these cardboard robots move and we're going to place them in a special area so we can have students walk by and move the pieces. And it's kind of an interactive project and it'll be really interesting to look at. Mr. Lawrence's classroom, we aren't an art class. We're in design art class and we're technically making, well, designing things that will solve problems in everyday life. And well, it's more interactive in his class than in other classes I've been to in other schools. And well, he, he's always giving helpful tips and he's just there when you need him to, for help. If you put something together like this, is that a good jo joining technique? Why? What's wrong with this? Or why isn't this the best? I get inspired by doing big projects, by doing something different, by giving these kids something different um, than they would normally get and uh, working as teams and working collaboratively and building something unique and, and using a lot of skills that we learned throughout the years to add up to one big project. Well, before we did this robot project, we were doing, we were learning how to shade 3D shapes. We were drawing out robots that were made up of 3D shapes and shading the shapes in. And so that led to the inspiration for this project. The lesson behind the project is all about form, function, problem solving, and collaboration, as the students have to work together to figure out how to bring their sketches to life. I have the students work together for special projects like this that is collaborative efforts and it's getting kids to utilize each, each other's expertise and strengths. Some kid might be the best at, at um, coming up with, it, with an idea and the other kid's the best technically with skills that all of a sudden you have a kid that is awesome with the art skills, another kid that's really, really great with the creative idea, and they're blending together to do something. This unique and collaborative approach to art is a real hit with his students as well. Design school, it's, it's, it's different. It's a lot more based on engineering and how to really apply this art skill to the real world, and it's much more interesting than Design school is more interesting than just regular art class, I have to I have to say. I'm pushing sixth grade this year to be much more of a design school than art class, and the reason is because I want their ideas to be the most important part. It doesn't have to be the best painter, the best drawer. It's the, I want the best thinkers. I want kids who can get a challenge and solve it in multiple ways. I think those skills are going to be important to these kids growing up. Um, I don't expect these kids to all grow up and be artists, but I expect them to all grow up and be creative thinkers. Regardless of what field they're in, that's going to help them be successful in life. That excites me. For School Scene, I'm Adam Bowen.